Hello friends of the gardens, my name is Bridget Rubate and I am the Education Programs Assistant at Coast Maine Botanical Gardens and I have a wicked wetlands wonder to share with you all. Now obviously it is best in most cases to respect nature and leave things where you find them, but I really wanted to use this learning opportunity to do some egg comparisons with you all, so I promise I'm going to be very gentle with this special find and I have washed my hands ahead of time. Um, since amphibians themselves have very porous skin and they can absorb the lotions and other sorts of chemicals you may have on your hands. So I wanted to be extra sure that I was being careful around these special little eggs. So I'm going to grab this egg mass over here and there's one already by you. And before I show you, I'm going to angle the camera down so that you can get a better look these beautiful eggs. So the first one I have to show you is a frog egg mass. And as you can see, this egg mass is pretty dense. There's a lot of little soon-to-be frogs in here. Um, frog egg masses tend to be more densely populated than salamander egg masses. and Additionally, you can see that this egg mass is kind of bumpy, and that's a really great way to determine whether or not it is a frog egg mass or a salamander egg mass, since you can see each egg individually, you know that you've got a frog egg mass here. So it's so beautiful, like little squishy jewels. And now the next one I have to show you as you've probably already guessed, is a salamander egg mass. And you can really see that outer gelatinous coating here. You can see how it's a very smooth egg mass. You don't see each individual bump of each individual egg. And something else you might notice, which helped me determine that it was a salamander egg mass and not a frog egg mass, is that the eggs are a little milky, um, so then you can see them within the clear outer gelatinous coating. And it's also not as densely populated as the frog egg mass. Okay, now we're going to put this back where I found it, just like I promised. And hopefully this makes you want to go out and look at some ponds and wetlands yourself and see what fun things you can find. Just remember to be gentle with everything. We miss you very much at the gardens and we can't wait to be able to welcome you back. Bye!